In this video, we will be covering considerations for growing through the summer in a greenhouse. For a grower to have a good handle on ventilation is critically important because without it, the plants will simply not achieve their potential and you will not have the production and profitability that you were hoping for. Ventilation is very much connected to the weather and weather is a rapidly changing phenomenon. So it is important, very important, that you keep detailed records about what is going on both inside and outside of the greenhouse. This is the only way that you can then review at the end of the season as to what was going on and hopefully come up with things that you can improve on to get a better end result. Forced ventilation is a fairly standard way of ventilating and that is easy to size because you know the volume of air in a greenhouse and the goal then is one air change per minute. More and more growers are going to a passive form of ventilation, which allows air to escape naturally. Now this of course is much more difficult to assess that you are getting the proper amount of air changes. It is important to realize and always remember that heat rises and so that you give capacity in the upper areas of your greenhouse for the air to escape. So if you are using roll up sides or you're using your doors as forms of air intake, by having openings higher up, you're allowing this chimney effect to govern the, the air change process even on the calm days. One of the things to keep in mind too is that you have circulation fans inside the greenhouse so that you're getting um, a circular motion of air inside the greenhouse. It is important to eliminate stagnant air pockets which are prime disease breeding uh, grounds. The other thing that it is important to remember is when you are using roll-up sides as your air intake, you need to be aware of the surroundings. If you have an area that is very protected, you're going to need a higher top end for the roll-up sides so that you can get more air in. Vice versa, if you're on the crest of a hill with no trees in sight, then probably two to three feet is going to be an adequate opening. Now, another thing that is important to remember when you are going through the summertime is water management. Good clean water is vital for the performance of a plant. The quantity is very important and that changes as their stages of production change and as the temperature changes overwatering is extremely harmful to a plant especially if you do not have good drainage in the greenhouse another thing to bear in mind is that plants need light obviously but there are situations where there is too much light and this is when you would use shading now the the balancing act that happens when you have shading is that shading will reduce heat, which is an important thing, but it also reduces light. And so it becomes a balancing act of making sure that you reduce the heat enough, but not too much light. Now, if you have found the information in this video helpful, by all means, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, so that you can get these uh, updates regularly. But also we invite you to subscribe to our Community Connection newsletter, which the information is down below. And this is our way of offering to you the experience that we have at our disposal to help you overcome the, 
the things that maybe you were not aware of. We stay in touch and we, our goal is to help you get it right, to minimize the pitfalls. And we look forward to working with you. And I thank you for watching.